Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we are doing an upgraded election map. A shocking event happened where Kamala took over some states. Which ones? Watch the video and find out. Now we have the updated election results. For Kamala Harris, it is Washington with 12 electoral votes. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is for Kamala. California with 54 electoral votes is Kamala. Now we're going to go to Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump and Republicans. Now we're going up to Montana. It is red for Donald Trump and Republicans. Idaho with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Wyoming WY with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Utah with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Nevada with 6 electoral votes is pink. It is a toss-up state currently. Arizona with 11 electoral votes, Maricopa County, watch out, is pink for Donald Trump or Kamala. It is a toss-up at this moment. New Mexico with five electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Going up to North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Nebraska with four electoral votes is red for Donald Trump, but a district inside of Alaska is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald Trump and Republicans. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. It's tilting pink thanks to Democrats from California moving to Texas for whatever reason, voting for the same crap that they're escaping from, but it's going to be most likely won by Donald Trump in 2024. Hawaii, with four electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. Nobody is shocked. Minnesota, don't you know, is 10 electoral votes for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, with 10 electoral votes, is pink and or brown. It is a toss-up state between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Iowa with six electoral votes is pink. It is a toss-up between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Michigan with 15 electoral votes is pink. It is a battleground state. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are head to head. This is the update on Michigan compared to our other videos. As of this morning, the polls state that Kamala Harris is ahead by one to two points in Michigan over Donald Trump, making her lead much, much bigger. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Kentucky, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is now pink. It is becoming another toss-up battleground state again, somehow. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Georgia with 16 electoral votes is pink. It is a battleground and Kamala Harris is gaining more and more ground in Georgia. What will become of this? We don't know. 
Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is now a toss-up state. It is pink. Somehow, Kamala Harris is getting the advantage in Florida as well. It was slated to be bright red, but now it's turning pink. South Carolina, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. North Carolina, with 16 electoral votes, is pink. They are now both fighting for North Carolina once again. This is wild, a wild turn of events. These reds are turning pink, but none of the blues are turning pink. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald Trump. Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, is pink. It is a toss-up. Another shocking update is after her, after her press conference, Kamala Harris gained three to four points in Pennsylvania, taking more of a lead from Donald Trump. And now, the rest of the states... We have Maryland, Washington, D.C., which is not a state, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York, Vermont, Maine are all blue for Kamala Harris. Maine is one of the ones that was red and then pink and then swapped to wholeheartedly blue again. These updates are getting closer and closer. They are tightening and closing the gap. Will Donald Trump continue to fall? We don't know. Will Kamala Harris continue to rise in the ranks? We do not know. It is up to voters to decide whether they want more of the past four years or if they want to make America great again. Tell us who you're going to vote for and what state you're in in the comments below. It's Bags. And it's President Ross. And we're out. Electorally voted in. No.